Hello there gamers, I'm Kirby 8 slash Ninja Gamer. Today we are here with Microchip, which is a game by Disco Fish. Um, it is a Ludum Dare entry, which if you don't know what that is, it is a 48 game creation contest. And for 48 hours, this game seems extremely, extremely impressive. But, you know, I, I'm not sure if they made it in actually 48 hours, but, you know, whatever. It's still awesome, and we're gonna try out a couple of these games from the Ludum Dare contest. Um... Uh, you can check out this game below. All of the games from the Ludum Dare are absolutely free. You can check them out all in the descriptions below. You can also check out the show. There will be a thumbnail underneath the video, which if you click that, it'll take you to all the videos of the Ludum Dare games that I will be doing. And yeah, so I am... Crap. Okay. This game does have some very interesting sound effects just like that. I'm sorry if those do hurt your ears. It, they don't usually last too long, but <laughs> I'm sure you guys will be okay with that. Alright, so this game is called Microchip, and we are, in fact, in a microchip. The theme for this one is called... I believe it's called Small World or something like that, I don't know. Each year they seem to have a different theme. And this year, it is something like that. I don't know. There will be more info in the description below if you guys are more interested in these games. I definitely encourage you to check them out uh, because of the fact that they are free. And this one, as you can see, is quite impressive for a 48-hour game. This game looks like something that would take quite a few people quite a while to create. But, yeah, we're going to check out a couple of these games. Um, as for what happened to... But Nicula, it kind of froze on me, and then it doesn't seem to want to be work to want to work now. But that's okay. Uh, this will give us more of a chance to try a variety of different games and just check it out. It'll also help me with my commentary skills, hopefully, quite a bit because some of these games they do get a bit hard to do commentaries of. All right, as we go through and just do the same thing over and over, there's not really much to talk about while you're doing this. But that's okay. Hopefully, I will improve on that over time. And yeah. So I'm going to continue to doing this, hopefully until they finish judging, or until until I find a better game to do. Right now, there's not any great new games that are out, but, you know, I want to find some upcoming ones and just, you know, go from there. Alright, let's see. Let's get this. So as you can see, this one has a very pixely theme, and I, I, I really do love pixel themes. But you guys probably already knew that from Lone Survivor. That is one of the things that really drew me into Lone Survivor, among other things, that is. Mainly, the fact that I had seen it before and I was very impressed with it. But yeah, that's one of the things. Alright, I believe we have almost gotten all of them now. Let's get these. And, crap! Okay. Wait, I think I have an idea of what to do. That didn't work, okay, <laughs> dang it. Mm, nope, crap. There we go. Alright, now we gotta do that one more time. There we go, alright, so now we can stack our way back up here. If you're wondering what the controls are, I, that did confuse me a bit at first, although that is because of the fact that I did skip over the controls. But the controls are the arrow keys are to move around, and then to jump, it is Z. X is to eat the things, and then C is to create new blocks if you need that, which you probably will. Alright, I believe we have almost all of them now. I haven't gotten to this point before, so we're going to see what exactly happens. Up, up, and... Nope, oh, okay. There we go. Last one here. Oh, crap, and there we go. Well, now we're going to have to go back down here. Um, also, I'm sorry for not posting over this weekend, but, you know, I was trying to figure out what exactly happened with Botnicula, but, you know, I couldn't figure anything out. Oh, crap, what did we do? Did we beat it already? Hey, we did it! Alright, so that that is what most of the games will be like since they are just 48 hour games, but that was very interesting. It had some very interesting visual effects and stuff. Most of these videos probably will not be that long, although it will do something? I'm not, I'm, I don't know. It should be fun, and it should give a huge variety of different games. Um, if you want to check out Ludum Dare, you can check it out. It's all links in the description below. Uh, there's links to Ludum Dare. Also, uh, thumbs up to Super Indie Spotlight for pointing this out. I would not have found out about it otherwise. And if you do not enjoy these games, well, 
that is too bad for you, and you will just have to wait till the next game. Uh, these games will not be very long, of course, because they were created in a very short amount of time, but I will be looking for the best ones and only doing the best ones because I don't want to go through each one and just do some crappy games for you guys. So I'm going to try and find the best ones of Ludum Dare 2012, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with another Ludum Dare game. I'm sorry for what happened with Botanicula. I, I'm not quite sure what happened exactly. But that's going to be it for today. So if you guys enjoyed, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share this. I'm Kirby 8 Slash Ninja Gamer with Microchip. Peace out, the Ninja Gamer.